can you maybe look, tell, talk about a little bit about the challenge that the freshman class has and what you guys are looking to improve on to take a big jump towards next well, year? Well, definitely we lost a lot of points, you know, from Ari, Dar, Mags, and Talia, so we're just going to have to, you know, work twice as harder and um, just get ready because they, they had really big roles and a lot of people are going to have to step up, so we're just focused on just working hard this season and just getting better in every level and just getting ready for next year. Is there anything specific you guys are looking at improving on majorly over between now and next year? Well, honestly, I would say conditioning because, <laughs> I mean, they play a lot of minutes. I mean, I don't think any of any of us know, like, what it takes to play, like, a full game. Mm -hmm. So that's probably going to be, like, the biggest part, just being in shape and just – and then also just defense and shooting. Like, we're mm -hmm. all going to have to be better shooters because, you know, we don't have, like, a legit shooter on our team right now. So I would say mm -hmm. that's one thing we're all going to work on, just getting our shot better so we can make shots too. I know you don't like to see your teammates leave, but is there a certain level of excitement going into next year knowing that, you know, there are four starting positions that are, are up for grabs and, and all that. Yeah, that, that's, that's exciting. I mean, I'm really sad that they're all leaving, but I'm, I'm also excited for them to be going to the next level, and this just gives us an opportunity. I mean, we came here knowing that we had a big class coming in, which means a big class is going to be leaving. So we're all ready to step up and just take those spots and just keep working hard. I feel like leadership is something that we all can take on. I mean, it doesn't have to be one person bringing us up. It can be all of us just contributing to the team. And with everybody becoming leaders, we can all um, progress on through the years. Is there something, in a way, exciting about a transition point like this where it's like, hey, you know, we can, you know, that there's more of a role, more of an opportunity for us now, you know, to, to fill this, this kind of void left by the players who graduate. I think with them leaving, it's a lot of doors open for everyone else. And if we all work hard, we're able to show everyone like what we've had and what we can contribute to the team and what we can make up this year. I'm staying up here again all summer. Um, my goals would be just to be more consistent. So I had some really good breakout games during the season, but it wasn't every game. And so I really want to work on making it consistent. And we also lost a lot of our stats. So contributing to that, being more offensively consistent, I would say as well. It's all about consistency with me. And what have you seen from the freshman class that you think kind of you know push you guys? as to not having, you know, so much of a transition here, but more, you know, cohesive, I guess. Um, I was talking about it. They're enthusiastic. It's an enthusiastic group. They want to learn. Um, a lot of them had key minutes in the games. They had big plays. Alex, Kalia, Payton, um, Sierra, with her experience. She's not a true freshman, so she's had some experience. Um, it's all, I mean, enthusiasm. They really, they really want to get out there. Do you expect, like, everyone to contribute kind of right away? It was just great. Honestly, yeah. We're, I mean, we're going to need them to, so they're going to have to. They're going to be put in the spotlight at some point, so they got to be ready Think about next year. Like you said, you lost all your seniors, but what are some of the biggest, I guess, besides that, what are some of the biggest transitions you guys need to make? I'm just ready to work. Hmm. Besides stats? Is that yeah. what you mean? Okay. Um, um, I'd say maturity level, but not saying they're immature, just yeah. playing time. Um, you know, not just stats, but being and calm during I the game, which is something I even work so on. Um, reading the game, basketball IQ, getting that up, because you know Maggie Ariel, huge basketball IQs, that's I think have been coming in. People need to read the floor. Lindsay's got to be ready to be a point guard and know where to go. Are you, uh, I guess I wouldn't say worried, but are you uh, ready for just kind of that big leadership role uh, yeah, and big I standpoint? Cause, really I mean, you are the lone senior. Yeah. Was that, yeah. Was that um, I mean, you knew that kind of coming in, right? I yeah. Really um, I'm excited. I think I'm not going to have to lead them in a way other than just doing what I need to do. Do. They're going to be able to follow. They're going to be able to, to do see, what they to need to. The I don't think I'm going to have to tell any of them what to do or what they should do. They're going to, I mean, there's not going to be a reason. They, they're really hardworking. Um, it's going to. It's going to be exciting. And people, they want to say like people don't think we're going to play as well because we lost so much talent. But we don't see it as. We don't see it as um, trying to prove people wrong. We just see it as keeping the standard high. So we've set a standard and we want to keep it that way.